Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to go on a trip and I have everything packed and I just wanted to show you some of the things that I bring along to kind of help me keep everything in one tiny place, especially for wigs. Depending on how long I'm going a place, I may wear one wig, two wigs, and then a pony topper. So this particular trip, I'm bringing two wigs and I have one pony topper I'm bringing. I'm wearing the pony topper right now. This one is from Highline Wigs but this is not what I'm gonna be wearing when I go to the airport. My first tip whenever you're traveling is to pack things, your valuable things in your carry-on. I don't ever put my wigs on checked bags. I just don't trust it if it's lost or anything like that. So what I typically do is I will wear the wig or one of my more expensive, the nicest wig to the airport. And so tomorrow what that's gonna be is this new um, Highline Wigs wig that I have. So I'm gonna be going to the airport in this, and I know a lot of people have questions about if TSA pulls you aside, touches your head, and all of that. I got pulled aside more for the 13 years that I wore extensions than I ever have for wigs, but all they will do when you walk through is they'll say, oh, your head's going off, and they'll just kinda touch you, and I just say, Oh, I'm, I've got extensions on and usually they'll pat and be like, okay, you're good to go. So don't worry about it. That's not a reason to not wear a wig to the airport. And you can always request to be pulled aside privately if that's what you want. If you can tell them, you know, I have a wig for medical reasons or whatever it is, then they should be able to accommodate you. So I always wear a wig on. I just, just my personal preference. What I wouldn't do though, I wouldn't wear one of the hat wigs where you have to take it off and you can see that it's got um, that little open part right there. I've seen videos of women who wear hat wigs and then when they take it off, that whole part is exposed. So you definitely don't wanna do that because then you could kind of be in a bind because I don't even think you can go through the medical, the, uh, the metal detectors with that on. I'm gonna go ahead, wear this, and then I am bringing another wig and this topper. The way that I transport them is usually in a bag like this. And typically when you buy a wig, you'll get a bag like this, or if you don't, you can get one. I think our bed sheets came in these Luxem bed sheets. So this is not a wig bag. But what I like to do is just kind of fold it up and put it in there. And I like to put it at the very top. Typically when I travel, I don't put it in the carry-on bag. Cause you know, you get a personal purse as, which can be as big as a backpack, and then you can get a carry-on, which I usually take a little suitcase. I almost always put it at the top of the purse or the backpack, just so I can make sure it's safe, and then after I'm traveling, I may transfer it somewhere else, but I always have it in a bag like this. Now, if it's a silk top like this, like the topper I'm wearing, I'm ne not as careful with it because there's no lace on it. Um, this one is just pure silk top and wefted back, so there's no way it can really get ruined or bent or anything like that. So I just kind of like fold it up and put it in this bag and tighten it and make sure all the air is out. And what I would recommend doing is brush your pieces before you put them in here. So don't put them in all tangled or anything like that because then you're gonna be a hot mess whenever you take them out. But whenever I have a wig, this is a really long wig, and I'm gonna be wearing this wig, but I would just kind of wrap it up. I like to kind of hold the cap open like that and then I will just kind of fold it in nice and neat like that, a little sack. I'll take the air out, I'll squeeze it tight, and then I'll let this lay on top of, the very top of whatever I have. And sometimes I even take it out of the purse or backpack and lay it under the seat in front of me separately and nobody knows what it is. That is how I travel with them on planes. And again, I don't check any of them and I always wear one on the plane. So other must have accessories that I always bring when I travel is a hair towel like this one. And that is because I only wash my bio or my real hair every three to four days. And they don't have towels like this whenever you're in a hotel or Airbnb. And so I just don't like getting in the shower and having all that humidity make my hair curly and poofy. So I just pack one of these and it's one of those turban type towels. I believe this one was off Amazon. I have a bunch of them that I've got off Amazon and I'll leave it below, I'll link it below, but I always have a towel like this one. And this one has really pretty lemons on it. So this one's my favorite. Something else that I have to have, which 
I don't always bring, but this is a wig grip and there are tons of variations of wig grips. This particular one is a newer type one where it's really thin in the back, and I, which I like. And I would say 90% of the time I don't ever wear one, but it's just nice to have in an emergency, whatever the weather is like, wherever you're going or something like that. So a wig grip is something I pack as well, nice and tight. I don't like going on a plane or traveling with a brush that is really large. And I like this one. This is like, I had this in second grade, third grade, and then Volaire Wigs recently put this in the package of the wig that I got from her. And it's just one of those wigs that kind of like opens up like that. And then the other side is a mirror. So I just like how small it is and it's so compact and it's really great for travel. Normally I keep this in my purse every day, but when traveling, this is the really great brush to have. In addition to that, I also bring a rat's tail comb. I'll also link that below. This particular one is really good with lace wigs or any wig really getting those little fine hairs out or if you're having issues with one sticking out that you want in, you can just lift up the lace and push them in and obviously you can comb your hair with this but I really, really love just throwing one of these. It's so small, it can fit in a clutch in your suitcase and your carry-on but this is kind of a must to travel with. As far as scrunchies, I always bring a couple of regular scrunchies uh, the kind of just elastic ones for when I do a pony topper and I bring a large scrunchie like this. I showed this in my pony topper video, but I will link this one below as well. This one's from Target. It's very spring summery and it's kind of see-through translucent, so it's a really cool scrunchie. But it's nice and big and I use this when I wear the pony topper and I don't want the ponytail down. Whenever I want this kind of high bun, I'll bring a big ponytail like that to kind of just throw it up real quick and on this trip I'm also bringing this cute little ponytail right here and it has this little bows these little ribbons hanging from it so I'm gonna try this out with my long wig maybe a half up half down look so we'll have to see how that turns out so my other hair accessories and beauty accessories I put in this bag and I really love this bag because it is not one of those travel bags where you fold it up, like the liquids are laying down and it folds up. Everything is upright. And I just kind of prefer that when I have liquids in the first place or anything fragile. I don't really like the idea of it laying to the side and then pulling up. So this particular one I found and I really love it. It's very compact, but it's like the perfect size. And I do bring a lot of stuff, but everything fits in here. So I'll go ahead and show you. Inside this main compartment right here, it first has this flap at the top. At the very top, I just have makeup remover wipes. And in this bottom pouch right here, this kind of bottom zipper, I have Q-tips and daily contacts, unfortunately, which is extremely expensive because it just is. Um, I have this cute little container for my makeup brushes from ColourPop, so that fits in there. Eyelash curler, which is an essential. And I have most of my makeup in here, like my foundation, concealer, bronzer, all of that good stuff is right there. And on the inside, they have a lot of like little stretchy things and compartments, and it's just really cute. So I have my little, um, I always bring lip scrub, but I have my little face facial moisturizer, just a regular moisturizer, and this lip scrub right here. For some reason, my lips in, during pregnancy have been very chapped, so I just feel like I have to bring that. And a little travel perfume here on the side. My hyaluronic acid. And this is something I recently, uh, recently picked up. Let me get it out. It's just this little travel uh, razor. It's super cute. Little travel razor like that, so it kind of is compact and fits in there. Most importantly, this hangs right here, so it's really nice when you're traveling and you just want something to be off the floor, off the sink, and just so you can see everything in one place. On this side over here, I have my two mascaras, two eyeliners, some amazing new brow product products that I'm going to share with you guys. This new sponge, so I've used the Beauty Blender and the Morphe one for years and the Real Techniques ones, but this one is from Eco Tools, and it is biodegradable, so I cannot wait to test this one out on the trip and see if I like it. I have my primer, my Tatcha primer, which is a little too big to fit in the main compartment right there, and just this Pacifica eyeshadow palette right there. 
So this one is kind of just more eye stuff, I would say. This other side is kind of meant for things that can maybe get wet and messy. It has this material to kind of catch it. So I'm gonna have my travel uh, little toothpaste, my face wash. I have all my other like serums and hyaluronic acid and stuff in here in the back in the bottles and toners. But this is just for like toothpaste, toothbrush, toothbrush face wash, face wash. Not bringing any body wash or shampoo or conditioner because the places that we're staying have that and I don't really need my own body wash. I can get away with using whatever they have. But I will say that I also don't care about shampoo and conditioner when I'm traveling because I never wash wigs when I'm traveling and I only wash my bio hair and to be honest, I don't really care if I have to like one or two times use kind of not so good shampoo and conditioner. So that is it. That is pretty much how I travel with wigs and just kind of my other accessories. It's very easy. I know it can be really intimidating getting on a plane, fear of getting pulled aside, going through you know a detector, but I promise you it really doesn't happen. And the worst that probably will happen is them pull you aside and say, oh, we just need to check your head real quick. And all they will do is just pat, say, oh yeah, I've just got extensions on or I've got a little hair piece. I hope this helped you in how you travel with wigs and ease a little bit of anxiety you might have when getting on planes, but it really is that simple and I really love the sacks for traveling with my wigs. I don't believe you.